In this video, we're going to take a look at an option of Word 2019 called Auto Text. Auto Text is when you type some kind of a shortcut at the keyboard and Word recognizes that particular combination of characters and replaces it with something else. Uh, let's do a couple of examples here. Let's do uh, a left parenthesis, the letter C, and a right parenthesis. And you notice as soon as you do it, it replaces it with a single copyright symbol. And if you don't want that, if you want what you actually typed, you can hit backspace before you do anything else, which I just did, and it'll re restore the text for you. Now, on the other hand, if you do parenthesis C, parenthesis, and then you type something else, and then you try backing up, uh, you end up deleting it. So you've got to correct your uh, uh, that auto text right away. Uh, there's some other ones. There's a TM for trademark. You put that inside of parentheses, and it'll give you the raised TM. Uh, there is also parenthesis R parenthesis, and that will give you the R with the circle around it for registered. Um, we have some other ones. Uh, if you type a parenthesis and an E and a right parenthesis, you get the uh, Euro symbol. If you type uh, a colon and a right parenthesis, you get the smiley face. If you do a colon and a left parenthesis, you get the frowny face. If you do the colon and the pipe symbol, which is uh, underneath the backspace key, and you have to hold shift down to get, you get a flat line for the mouth there. And if you do a semicolon, semicolon, and a hyphen, and a left, I'm sorry, a right parenthesis, uh, then you get the winking smiley face. Uh, some other ones are, if you do two hyphens and a greater than, you, you replace it with a single arrow character. If you do a less than and two hyphens, uh, you'll get the arrow pointing the other direction. If you want a fatter arrow, do two two equal signs and uh, greater than, or a less than followed by two equal signs, and you'll get some fat arrows. There is also a way to get uh, what's called an M dash into your text. If you type a little bit of text, and then you want to separate it from the next by a long hyphen, which I would call a dash instead of uh, a hyphen. A hyphen's like short, and I've got two hyphens here. And, you know, a single hyphen is used to connect text. Two hyphens or a dash are used to separate text. So I type some more text, and then when I hit the space bar at the end of that word, notice what happens. It automatically changes the two hyphens that I had into a single character. Now, if I hit the left arrow key and the right arrow key, there's only one character there now. So that's another example of auto text. You can also use um, auto text to do some borders. Uh, these borders go all the way across the line. If I do three hyphens at, at the beginning of a line, this has to be done at the beginning of a line, and then hit enter, um, I get a solid border all the way across. That's a border, um, and the borders are on the paragraph group up here, so you can also do borders that way, but this is just a keyboard shortcut. Notice uh, when I do all of these, after I do it immediately, there is this little box that comes up here with a lightning bolt in it. It's labeled autocorrect options. And if you hit on the down arrow, uh, you, you've got the undo option there. Uh, you can tell it to stop doing this all the time, or you can actually go in and check out some options in a dialog box. But uh, these are the two that you'd probably want to do most often. So I want to keep that there. Um, now, notice that this was pulled up immediately below the line above it. So if you want a little bit of a gap in there, do an empty line and then do your three hyphens and then hit enter. And now, well, that did something interesting. It pulled the other one down. Let me put a few more uh, enters in there and do three hyphens now and hit enter. And so it does jump up a little bit uh, when you do it. Uh, there are some other options here. Uh, three equal signs will give you a double line. Three underscores will give you a, uh, a thicker line. Uh, three asterisks will give you a dashed or a dotted line. And uh, three pound signs above the three will give you a um, triple line like that with a fat line in the middle and skinny ones on the top and the bottom. And uh, the last one is the tilde character, which is to the left of the one. You have to hold the shift key down for that one and do three of those. And it will insert a wavy line for you. And with every one of these, uh, right after I do it, I get the option here to undo the autocorrect. And if I move back over some of these up here and pause the mouse, um, you see, I get that little, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little blue bar that appears there. And if I get the tip of the arrow on that, uh, 
it will give me these options that I had before, but it's much smaller uh, if you want to go back to it after the fact. Some other options for putting unusual characters in your document are uh, on the insert tab here, there is an option to insert a symbol. And that is way over here on the far right side of the insert ribbon. And uh, we've got some characters here that are either some common ones or ones that you've used recently. But we're going to click on more symbols here. And we get this dialog box that shows us a special font uh, called Webdings. And um, these are all actually things that you get that correspond to the letters of the alphabet. Let's, I'll show you what, what, what I mean by that. Uh, let's go here. And I'm just going to type in uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so I've got seven characters there. And I'm going to select them. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my um, home tab up here. And I'm going to choose my fonts. And I'm going to go all the way down. That was a Webdings font. I'm going to go down to the W's down here. And choose um, Webdings. And when I do, the A gets converted into this character. The B gets converted into this. And C and D and E and F and G. So... You don't see the actual letters of the alphabet at all. Uh, these are special symbol fonts that draw a symbol instead of the corresponding letter of the alphabet. Okay. Now, let's try one more thing here. Let's go to Insert. Let's go to Symbol. And let's go to More Symbols. And let's. Uh, we've got some other ones here, too, that are just symbol fonts. Uh, obviously, there's one called Symbol. If I go up here a ways to the S's. And there's a symbol font, and um, you know some of those are symbols. Some of them look like regular text to me. And the other ones uh, all have the word dings in them someplace. Uh, there is a web dings, and you can see all the options for web dings. There is a uh, wing dings, and those are the options for wing dings. There is a wing dings 2 font. Uh, there is a, I think under Z here, it's not included. There's also, uh, sometimes there's a font called Zaf Dingbats. Uh, I'm going to go up to the D's here and see if there's a Dingbat font on here. And there is not. Um, but those are at least, let's go back to one of my W wing dings. So there's a handful of symbol fonts that are just used to insert uh, special symbols. And uh, one thing I want you to notice is that each one has a character code number down here. And when I click on the character up here, I get the code number down here. So that's character number 74. The one next to it is 75, 76. And they start at 32. And they go all the way up to, on the other end here, they go up to 255. So if you know the font and you know the code number, then you can easily insert the appropriate character into a document.